Now let's review on the special products and factoring strategies. We have three special products involving squares and we also have special products involving cubes. So let's first talk about the three special products involving squares. So we have difference of squares okay so we can write this as x squared minus y squared which is just equal to x minus y times x plus y and then the next one is the square of sum so we can write this as x plus y squared which is just equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared and then the third one is the square of difference which can be written as x minus y squared equals x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So now let's um, review on special products involving cubes. So we have x cubed minus y cubed is just equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared and then the next one is x cubed plus y cubed okay the first one is um, the difference of cubes this one and then then this one is the sum of cubes so x cubed plus y cubed is just equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So those are the special products that we need to look into when factoring, when solving problems that involve factoring. So what are the factoring strategies? strategies so in factoring we have to always pull out the GCF first okay so the next thing you need to do is to look for special products okay So if there are only two terms, then look for look for sum of cubes or difference of squares or cubes. If there are three terms, then you look for squares of a difference or a sum. Then if there are three terms, okay, or three terms, and the first coefficient is one. then use simple trinomial factoring then if there are three terms and the first coefficient is not equal to one so three terms first coefficient isn't equal to one then use the AC method okay. and if there are four terms then use factoring by grouping 